The shore end operation is the initial step in establishing a link between the shore power grid and the offshore wind farm. The barge arrives on site and sets itself up in such a way that it can access the pre-drilled pipe coming out from the shore end. This is so later on in the process the plough can be landed near to the pipe, ready for the laying of the cable. The barge establishes a messenger line between itself and the shore end. The small messenger line is replaced with a pulling line that will be used for the actual pulling operation. As part of the operation to recover the pulling line, a cleaning brush is inserted to clean the pipe through of any debris. The brush is of a size so that not only is the pipe cleaned of any debris, it is also gauged for size to prove that the cable has enough space to pass through. This operation continues with the barge recovering the messenger line with the brush attached until the pulling line arrives on the barge. At this point, the cleaning brush is disconnected and the pulling line is connected to the cable end. The plough deployment operation is now ready to commence. The plough is moved on deck into the ley line for the cable. The plough bell mouth and depressor are opened and the pulling line routed through the plough. Before launch, the pulling line is secured within the plough by closing the depressor and bell mouth of the plough. The plough can now be lifted from deck and landed on the seabed near the exit of the pipe from the jointing pit. Once the plough is on the seabed, the cable is pulled ashore by a winch at the shore end of the pipe. The cable leaves the barge, passes down through the plough, through the pipe and up to the jointing pit on the beach, where the interface to the land cable is created. Once the cable has reached its required length within the pit, it will then be secured to make sure it is not pulled away again as the vessel moves away.